we are meeting up with Rob Edwards, who's a screenwriter of Disney's Academy Award nominated The Frog Princess. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us oh, thank here you for today. Having me. Tell us what what is it like to work on this on this film that's not just oh. amazing but yeah. also historical in a sense oh, yeah. for Disney. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, that's the thing about it is that immediately after after Ron and John, the, the directors, called me onto the film, the weight of it started to set in. You know, this is the first African American princess, you know, animated African American princess for a lot of girls, for a lot of adults, this is going to be it. You know, this is going to be a new standard of beauty, a new standard of, like, what we aspire to. And, you know, and so a lot of it was, like, trying not to freak out. You know, second part was just make it good. You know, just make a good film. And that was our intention all the way through. Uh, for me, I was working on it for three years. And it's really fantastic to see, like, that, that, that people's reaction to it as they go. Little girls wearing the dresses and, and even adult women just, you know, I, I mentioned that I wrote the movie. And people, like, burst into tears and give me a hug and, and stuff. It's really fantastic. And how was it working with Anika Rose, but also it's the tremendous people behind this film, like Oprah Winfrey, for example. Oh, yeah. How was that experience? Oh man, well we had an all-star behind the scenes, every, you know, everywhere. There was just an all-star cast of everything. You know that 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 once we announced that we were making the movie, everybody wanted to get in. You know, and so we, we, it was just a matter of like, who do you say no to, as opposed to can we get these people? You know, um, uh, there were the great animators and fantastic voices and, and everything. And as you know, like Anika Noni Rose, her her voice, she's just amazing. She's so strong and so smart, and just such a perfect uh, role model for, for for little girl for everybody, really. You know, for me, you know? and, for, and for me too, I, and for I, everyone I, that I know. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the uh, on the uh, nomination for this oh, well, one. Thanks. I mean, I, I think it's excellent, but I do want to bring awesome. it back just a little bit because okay. we're all fans here of Fresh Prince of Bel Air oh, on good. our show, so we hey. want to know. Okay. You know, okay. What, sure. What, sure. What was that like? A little bit of that experience for oh. all of those. Well, it was amazing because I, I was there from the start, and you know, Will Smith had just been—he uh, had been a rapper. He'd done Parents That Don't Understand and a bunch of that stuff, and but nobody knew how he was going to be as an actor. And you see him, and as soon as he did his first episode, it was lightning in a bottle. You know, it was just this guy was amazing, and I couldn't wait to work on the show. You know, every day you'd go in, and it was just a party. We'd write episodes on napkins. We'd just joke around with him at his house, and then all of a sudden, you know, we couldn't write them fast enough. It was just so much fun. You know, yeah, and uh, Alfonso Ribeiro, James Avery, you know, Karen Parsons, those guys are just the best, really, you know, a fantastic team of actors. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for meeting up with us. Your you. pleasure. Thank Good you. luck with everything and continued success. Wonderful. Thank you.